Well, there it is. Welcome to Holy War. This is the Legion TD of survival defense maps. We're going to be playing this with 18 lives, so we have more chance to reach the last boss on survival mode with all pick. Now, you have a vote for terrain. However, I believe the terrain can affect how you are, how your units behave and what happens. So random tornadoes or goblin landmines, it's all very random. So I would suggest no to that. And it's also been suggested to turn off random events because those can also screw you over. So that's all done. Now we have the race of human skeleton, night elf, orc, Dwarf, Nerubian, Troll, Demon, High Elf, Murloc, and this one. But we played that one last time, so I'm not going to revisit that one. Now, I allowed the chat to decide which race. I might have influenced it a little bit, and the Demons ended up coming ahead of the Murlocs. So I've given chat another chance, because they complain so much, to either pick the Demon or the Murloc, which is the loser point of view. So we're going to see what the results are. Okay. We got 33 seconds, so I'm going to pick the Murloc. I've got 150 gold to spend and three different builders to work with, so I don't know. Let's get one of each or something. Or a Siren. Ass Assin? I don't know. Uh, that should do it, and I'll get one point into gold. So yeah, Murloc is... I'm not even sure if it's actually any good, this race. We'll find out, won't we? Let's see if they can get past the first level. So we've got Water Drake, 300 range, Ass Assin's moving in. It's got very fast attack with uh, a stack in poison. I think it stacks. Doesn't look too impressive. Are there still Goblin Landmines? Yeah, that sucks. But I've turned off everything I can turn off to avoid that. So I don't know why we're getting those Landmines. Three builders should make this nice and easy. 75 gold, so I think I'm going to put down a siren. Thank you very much. There's a build. Wait. <laughs> He's not a builder, is he? It's these ones that are the builders. Okay, so you can actually set behaviors for the creeps, whether they flank or they move quickly or slow at the start. We're going to have him on flee, though, so he has a chance to pull back. And this one can also flee. I don't think the range unit needs to flee, really. Oh, she's not range. She's melee. Oh, I'm surprised. Okay. Well, let's take a look at what we got then. It says Serena. 35 damage every 1.2 seconds. Minor magic resistance. Evasion critical strikes. That's actually pretty good with the crits. Do I feel confident enough to push another point into income? I should really be able to get away with it, but... It's so easy to lose in this. Might want to get past one more level. Depends if I can build anything good for 46 gold. There's Naga Ritual. Has a chance to transform Murloc unit or kill it. Chance depended on Murloc cost. It might kill it though. I won't get money for it. Can I get away with just building lots of trash Murlocs then? And using it on that? Uh, uh, not enough time to build. Too many builders. It's going to take a bit of getting used to this with three builders. And they all look the same. I'm going to set this one to flee if it needs to. It looks like I'm strong enough to get through this level as well, thankfully. How does mana work with my builders? Uh, only one of them is getting mana at the moment. And mana is typically used for spells, but mostly just use it on gold when you can. Yes, dweller. Why should I? I wonder how many people get... Maybe it's because of the race you pick. That race automatically places goblin landmines in other, place, in other players' um, arenas. That would be my guess. So if someone's picking like a... Well, let me see if I can... I can't upgrade any of these things for some reason. I've just got to build something, anything. Just so I don't die. Yeah, there's a lot of information. Murloc is not easy. There's like three different builders with a bunch of different random stuff. Didn't you pick a terrain bonus before picking a race? No, I chose none myself. So it was voted for, so perhaps people chose 
to vote for the terrain, but I voted for none. So, this guy is getting one mana point each level. She can build Serena. 720 health. She seems really good. This guy's 170. But also 1750. So he's like, it's, uh, what is it? Per 10 gold is 100 health or something. And he's got 5 heavy armor. Bash in Share, which is probably in Snare. I think I should be able to push. Oh, wait. Level 5 is normally quite tricky because it's like a boss level. So I, as much as I want to push income, I'm actually playing a bit more cautiously this time. Especially since I'm playing this. Oh, we got a healer. I'm taking that. I could do the income there. Yeah. If we do the spell for gold, and then I can push the income. Ah, it's, it's an event, so it's a duel or something like that. I've got a lot of value. 275 versus 204, so theoretically I'm lined up to win this. This would actually skip me past the uh, boss, won't it? Because you should fight against a boss, I think, every five levels. I got magic damage, normal damage, piercing damage, magic damage. After revolution, you will be una unavailable to build Naga warriors. I guess I just won't use it. So I was gonna try building some trash and see if I can convert it. Yeah, I don't know what the percentage is on that one, so I don't know how much more I want to gamble with that. Why should I? Your building is complete. So I guess I probably just won't even use it. Each race gets their own sort of special, but I think the Naga one seems quite bad. So I think we'll just avoid that. Theoretically, that could be amazing if you're lucky, but when am I ever lucky? The percentage of the unit cost, 15 gold equals 15%, I see. Yeah. So you have, what, if you do it on a 100 gold unit, you get a 100% chance to transform. But what does it transform into? Could it just transform into literally anything? Something amazingly expensive or something worse? I don't think it's worth the risk. Too much of a gamble. Considering I don't know how it works. Well, I blasted through that, so I'm going to push another income. Why should I? Is it safe? We've got 70, 170. Oh. Is it only on Murlocs? Has a chance to transform Murloc unit or kill it. So you've got 15, 20, 32, 40, and the revolution leader. Oh, that requires a revolution. So you can't actually even build this. So one of my strongest characters, the Nine Hero, means that if I do that, I won't be able to build any Naga units, right? So I better build all the Naga ones first. Oh, Ancient Mother, 2,200 gold! I'm hoping that this is as overpowered as I think it might be, though. Also, I just got my ass kicked here. I got 300 value. I'm not that bad, am I? Destroyed. Meanwhile, Draco with 315 value clears it easily. Well, you guys wanted Murlocs. You got Murlocs. I've not even been that greedy. I need like another tanky type character. I guess the footman or something, and then I just upgrade it. Nope, of course, can't upgrade it. Can't build because free gold short. And also, you need food. So I've got to push food here. It'll go much better this time, don't worry. 
can actually use the spells to maybe get past the level, but I'd rather still keep using it on girl. It actually has gone better this time. Sacrifice atonement, penance, sacrament, RIT, I'm going to sacrifice some members of the Twitch chat. What do you think, Sky? So it's quite random, really, because suddenly that just went much better than the last time. Thank you very much there, Sky. Ritual sacrifice, atonement. Oh, atonement, indeed. Save mana until your income is higher. Theoretically, yes, you can do that. It depends, but also if you spend the mana on improving the income, then you can reach what you need to reach quicker. Uh, Lizard Man Warrior. He's another tanky type dude, so we'll get him because I can't afford the Naga that's 170 gold. I love all the models though. I mean, Murlocs have their own standard models anyway, but even then, there's some custom ones. Lizard Man Cavalry. Looks like I'm gonna lose. I don't think we're good enough to get through this. Can't heal your way out of that one, boys. It's kind of hard to know roughly how much value you need for each level. But even then, it's not 100% obvious because I'm level 7. Hegel's now level 8, but I have more value than Hegel. So you can't go off of just the value of the numbers. I think the balance of the units might just not be all that hot. Free gold shy of Lizardman Warrior. Small turtle, indeed. Your building is I've got to select all of the units, I think. I need a win. It's time to take Clucky down. It's high elf ways. It's up to the lizard man cavalry to carry me. It doesn't look great though. Depends if I can keep getting heals on the lizard man. One more heal for luck. Or is he going to die before he can do it? Yes. Maybe you got the heal there. But it looks like I've got absolutely destroyed. So, some more lives have gone. Can't upgrade. She can upgrade. 140 gold. Don't have the money for that. Only 16 gold to upgrade into that. Who knows what it is or what it does. I'll take the gamble there. And then 70 gold. 10 gold for that. Wait, 70 gold is another one of those. Let's get that. Already. Highlight all of them. Reset behaviors. I think you have to do it in like tabs. And then I'm going to set them all to flee. Because some of them might not have the flee. And I don't know which ones do and which ones do not. But I think it's always worth putting flee. Because it can potentially save the unit. Okay, so an event is occurring. 
Yeah, I'll save 170 gold for like the Naga Myrmidon. Hopefully we can get 100 gold from this level. You get gold based on your kills, so doing well here is actually beneficial. So the more units you got to get those kills, the better. With the, if you've got high DPS units. You actually fight against other players here, so if we win versus them. Or do we? Uh, he's red, but we're not actually fighting against him. So I think this is just versus the uh, creeps, this one. I hope it's versus the creeps, because I'm smacking between orange and purple. Okay. Oh, we got lots of gold there, so... Warrior time. I want to have them somewhat spread so creeps can't flank around and hit your weak side. You can become a blade master. That one's more expensive though, the guard. Maybe I'll push an income now. Got enough gold for it. So it's uh, right versus left. Myself, Hegel, and the High Elves. Versus trolls. Humans, maybe? No, dwarves. And orcs. I think we're winning. Where shall I strike as you wish? 19 out of 20 food, so I don't really want to put any more trash down. 12 from enemy treasures. Ooh. Ah, I see. So to get the champion, I need the guard. So I need to save money for the guard now, I think. Then I can keep getting those Naga units and then maybe act upon the revolution. Because you can only have one of this unit. And so what, like, if you get three of those and one of those, then you're basically finished with the Naga units anyway. Unless, for some reason, these ones are really good when they're upgraded into something, but I don't know. So I'm probably just going to move on as soon as I get those built. Looking better. One more win is a guaranteed upgrade on guard. So do I want to upgrade anything in between? We will find it's 140 gold to get one of these. She's got a lot of abilities. It seems like a lot of passive stuff. That's okay. But I don't think it's necessarily worth the 140 gold. Especially if it slows me down. See, a rock turtle is only 80 gold. Doesn't hold me back too much. It's got medium splash. Damage doesn't increase that much, though. So I'm just going to leave it. So I hope I don't uh, get a really hard level now. Oh, it's a boss. Oh, yeah, because it's level 10. Ooh. Whoops, a daily. The boss normally has different abilities each time you fight him. So it comes down to RNG as to whether you get the one that's easier to fight against or not. I could always put down a rift to increase my chance, spawn some mobs. But it's risky because you could still lose if you do that. I think he's going to slowly kill me. Because he does like big damage from time to time, doesn't he? If he does big damage from time to time, he's not doing it at the moment, so... Are you going to lull me into thinking I can beat you and then suddenly just wipe all my units? That's what I'm waiting for. But it's not going to happen by the looks of it, so we're good. Yes. 311 gold? That, to me, is a guard. Upgrade finished. Now the guard, he's got the bash. Don't forget to give him 
the flea because he's upgraded. It's a new unit. Wide blade attacks all nearby units, so he's got cleave, which is pretty damn sweet. So we want to make sure he gets not right at the front, but sort of just behind the front. So he's more likely to be in a position to hit a bunch of units that are stacked up. 2,500 health certainly does help. It's at this point where you want to start maybe looking at units that can do damage from behind. That's quite a lot of units. Oh, he's really slow, isn't he? I might have to push him forward a bit. But look, he has got that beautiful cleave. You can see big damage here. Oh, that's nice. But the problem is, is he's not tanking. <laughs> if I do that. So it's a, it's a catch-22. Curse is giving him a hard time. Oh, cleave is so good there. Should have a character that can maybe dispel curse. That would be helpful. I definitely think it's worth having flee on him. It's not ideal for a tank to flee necessarily, but if he can reposition himself and then get more damage off because of those cleaves, I'll take that for the extra bit of tanking. Yes, What else can we buy? 460 gold for champion. I guess I just keep saving. Like, that's my, I want to push income, but... If, if we're lucky, could get enough gold on just the next level, maybe, for a champion. It's only 260 gold. Free food. Yeah, I'd have to upgrade my food as well. We'll see. Or I could just sell some units. Depends what gold we're left with at the end of the next level. Why should I? So you... I'm at 56 income, but it increases by 9, so it's not a massive amount. You get like an extra 9 gold at the end of the level if I push that, but it's kind of cost 96 gold, so it, it takes a long time to pay off. So I'm trying to go for some quality for the time being. I think I'm going to die here. Oh, the cleave is amazing, but... So much to fight against. And there's a Banshee. She doesn't have mana for curse, though, so that's good for me. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this. Surely. It's going to be close. I'm buying some time, though. The Null Overseer is busy with these guys. Nah, yeah, it's game over. Too much. Feels bad. 345 gold is not great because that just leaves me in a position. You know what? Screw it. Just go again. You either get it or you don't. I'm going to push him forward. Because even if I lose, I'll definitely have the gold to upgrade or get the other unit I want to get. So I'll sacrifice a life if I have to rather than build a unit for the sake of it. Oh, it's this. Okay. He's in a pretty good position for Cleave. Should be able to hit these units as well. If you pay attention to the health. So that's really, really cool. That's going to change, though. Boom. Oh, yeah. He still moves here. Wait, hang on a second. What's happened on the right-hand side? <laughs> I got obliterated. Hegel's definitely spent a lot on his units. Congratulations, Hegel. 403 gold. Eighty-five percent refund is pretty good. That's gonna almost be enough if I sold that, but not quite. I think if I sell the turtle, that should definitely give me enough. Wait. Yes, it did. Here we go. Woo! He's got hero damage. 
Oh, he's got encouraged allies, giving them movement speed and health regeneration. Yeah, it's about time. Got some auras up in here. And he's got the wide blade attack as well. So we've got some massive cleave. And he looks cool. So there's lots of pluses here. Oh, look at the difference. I was a bit fortunate there that I had just enough food supply. I think it's time to push income. Research complete. Because I should be good for at least a couple of levels. Where shall I strike? Stashing up that mana. Because then this guy will stack up on the mana and then I can spend on the uh, gold. Just ask others how much they've greeted. They'll probably honestly uh, let you know. I've not pushed too far. I'm only on level 5. Because that one says level 6. So that's the upgrade. This guy says, I'll donate 20 bucks if you're ritual on that Naga Royal Guard you just built. I could say, sure, and then say the joke's on you after you do it, because you can only use it on Murloc units. As far as I know. It says, has a chance to transform a Murloc unit or kill it, depending on the Murloc's cost. And you've got a Murloc-specific builder here. So you've got three builders. One builds Naga units. The other one builds Murlocs. I'm not going to lose this, am I? What the hell is this rigged? What the hell is wrong with this race? Murlocs and then uh, beasts. How the hell do I lose this? I've got like really good value. It's not like I'm that far behind. I'm not even on like the same levels. I'm behind on levels. I, I should even have it easier. This is so silly, man. This race is just trash. I mean, I have to basically keep losing lives tactically to get these Naga units out of the way. Because I can't upgrade the Murloc units until I've initiated the revolution. But if I do the revolution, then I can't build the Naga units. And I might need those Naga units for late game. Particularly the big one at the end here. Because these... Priests, medics. I'd like to upgrade those, but I can't. I think it's important that I get the the Nagi units out the way. Once I've built that one, I'll probably be happy. I can have three of those. Whether I need three of those, I don't know. So I can at least have this one, and then we can move on. Should have gone for a stronger DPS. No, it's not as simple as that. It's really not as simple as that. I could get another champion, though. But I need a Blade Master and a Guard. We've got a Guard, so we need to build the Warrior. So we need to push the food. Build the Warrior, and get the Blade Master one. Which is... 230 gold. Oh, look at him! Look! Look at him! Oh my god! That is like the best thing I've ever seen! Holy shit! What is this? What? I... Uh, I'm gonna zoom in on that. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it. I'm going to create another one, if it lets me paste, which it doesn't, because of course you don't. Here we go. So in between the next level, I'm going to show you what we're working with. He looks so happy! Yeah! I love it. What I don't like is my melee units spazzing out all the time, repositioning themselves. That's very much like Legion CD. Well, they'll waste a whole bunch of time trying to position themselves where they could have just been doing damage the whole time. 
Have I lost this level? I think I've lost this level as well. And that's with spending gold. This race is so bad. Okay, we will spread more efficiently. No more complaints. Perfect. It's not exactly what I would call aligned to grid. But whilst everyone else is having their little battle, we're going to select this guy. I, I need this as a plushie. Fighting for his race, doing what he can, using his elite skills to dominate the opponents with a joyful glee on his face. <laughs> He's so good. That's the one main reason to play this race. Okay, I better turn that off. I better not lose this, even though Hegel's definitely spent a lot more on his army than I have. You better give me something here. Why does he keep making me fight against Hegel? This is rigged. Another victory. So I only need to wait until I got 600 gold. For Shazam. And then I think I better do that Murloc revolution because I'm going to die otherwise. I don't think I'll bother getting the other two champions. I don't think I'll live long enough at this rate. <laughs> I think I just have to go with that. So Technically I could build it if I did a bunch of these. But it's going to waste so much potential money because I wanted to basically build that right and then push a bunch of income and then use the spell when it gets closer because it'll be very close to 30 by that point like I'm well aware of it I'm just trying to min max it but it comes at the cost of some sacrifice and some lives can you reverse the revolution I doubt it because it says you will be unavailable to build Naga warrior look at him look at him what's he doing they need to be quicker or something so they can get into combat faster and not waste so much time. Even with this massive cleave. I need, like, units that can maybe buff their attack speed or their damage. Because that cleave is so cool. But it's... I'm not getting gold here. Because there's too many units that are left on one health. That's a whole bunch of gold I could be getting. Alright, one more level. Easy. Yeniki. So the trolls are the edge lords. They kind of look like um, uh, like a, they're out in the desert or something, you know. Got almost like an Egyptian vibe. Are my backline units any good? Not really. No. Are you still fighting this behemoth? I'm going to have to fight against that next level, am I? I think. Schemast. Oh, I remember the Mammoth Rider. I've played this before with that. But they are noisy as hell. Because they just spam that pulverize. You might do this, though. Yeah. 
You've got this in the bag. It's yours. Take it home. Easy. Why should I? Prepare yourselves. See? This is all part of the plan. We're getting closer and closer to 30. I've got to spend 600 gold, and then I need to spend a few more levels, sacrificing lives, pushing income, and then get a whole bunch of money back. I didn't get to push my income as far as I would have liked, though. I almost wonder if it would be worth it to um, sell a bunch of units at 85%, push income, if anyone was able to do the math, which I couldn't do. So if you sold, like, because it's at 85%, you just sold a whole bunch, then pushed income with all of that money, and then did the spell. That gives you gold equal to your income. But I don't think so, because you're only getting, like, 9, 10, 11 gold increases. It's up to you, Rami, to carry me, because I suck. So you're going to have to fight first. It's my stuff as well. If he does this, though, I might still get the points. So I hope he does. Welcome to Twitch, Maxi. That's how it works. People love to watch the streamer have a hard time. This Mammoth Rider is your MVP. Although, he's taken massive damage from this dude. 500 damage a hit? Are you kidding me? Oh no. Remy, come on. What the hell, man? This is all your... <laughs> your <fun. laughs> I can't whistle on this, now. Village is completely destroyed. 559 gold. So, do I sell units or do I use... One of this? I think I might have to do one... Is it going to give me enough? Yes. I'm just going to sell, actually. Uh, quick. How do I sell? I've, like, completely forgotten. I've got literally nine seconds. I have to click on the unit, sell, and then with this one, I need to build the big guy. Okay. That cost how much? This one's of 70 gold. So if I sell that, 85% of 70 gold should be at least 41 gold, right? Okay. Can someone start for me? Resume. I'm not cheating. I just my watchers are ready. Need like literally just a few seconds just to decide. Right now we've got the big boy. We actually got some hero armor. He's got crab claw. Session has 30% chance to strike nearby enemies. So again, he's got the whole massive cleave thing going on, which normally I love. Oh, can I actually actively use their abilities? I thought you couldn't control them. But he did water slam when I clicked on it. So, that does damage to nearby units. I'm not sure there's really that much else special about him. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother putting him on flea, because he's got so much health and armor. I might actually just want him to tank. I might just leave him the only one that doesn't have flea. Oh, I see. That's why. No. It, I have this one highlighted. That's why I could control it. It's not the one that's here. Are we winning? We damn well better be after I've built this guy. So, of course, I can do the Merlot Revolution, but no point doing that until I've done my whole income thing. At least it feels good to have that out of the way. Oh. I'm actually going to sell one of these just so I can do that. Yeah, I, it's alright. We've got how many levels? got one more level really even then technically we got more than one level because I can always just do only one of those yes, just to keep uh, the cap under control but keep it high
playing this live at twitch.tv slash witty. Come say hi if you are watching and you wish to do so. I'd welcome you in. So we're basically defending versus a whole bunch of evil rogues. Sea turtles. The most evil of sea turtles. Playing as naga, murlocs and beasts. That's the race that I've chosen. Well, I've been forced to choose. Really. Most of my units are red raw. But this guy keeps on tanking. I need to put everyone miles behind this guy because he's so strong. This is like an auto battler, so, you know, like a Legion TD, team fight tactics, that kind of thing. You place your units and then they go and fight versus uh, the NPCs. And obviously the NPCs change each level, so you're up against different challenges. I like that. How about that? The pyramid of success. It's a pyramid scheme. So we've got to do that, that, one of these, so I can get 86 gold. We're just going to basically push our income heavily now. It might come at the cost of a few lives, but it'll be worth it, I think, very much so in the long run. Oh, I'm against the behemoth. Let's see if we're strong enough for this boy. He's got 600 damage. It's like a truck. Chaos damage, so my hero arm is not going to do too much better than that. Oh, my little ones are dead. Even my tanky guy isn't looking so healthy. I don't think we're going to kill him for a few levels. So we're definitely going to lose some lives here. It's actually a bit of a difficult one, isn't it? To hold out on not spending that income. Because I could have probably got through a new few normal levels. But unfortunately now it's going to put me against this. Might be time to sell the little guys. Could be. Do they do much? I'm going to guess that the Revolution Leader costs something closer to 1,000 gold. Something like 750 gold, maybe. So, I'm going to need like closer to that amount if I'm just going to go straight for him. I still think it's worth sacrificing lives for the time being. For the great long scheme. I can say that with some confidence because Random Pick Noob's done it in the past. He lost loads of lives last time we played, really early on, but he pushed the most income. And then he actually made it further than most of us. So this time the boss has different mechanics. These mechanics seem harder <laughs> than the last ones. He's used half his mana. Happy Blade Master. Can we just replace the Orc Blade Master with this guy? Oh, here it goes. Meanwhile. I think I'm willing to lose like one more life after this one, so can go again. Research complete. I think you can only go up to like 15 upgrades on income. Research complete.
There's also an advantage to being at the back. It's because when people fight first as the last boss, they'll do it continuously. And it might cost them some life. So you basically join in the fight once you get to that stage. But they're already having the fight. And they're not going to kill the last boss anytime soon. <laughs> so I'm only going to lose lives in that case. Clucky's got 14. That's impressive. very short space of time to do what it is that I need to do. Otherwise I'm going to end up losing another life. I think this boss is getting harder. I haven't got any upgrades yet for my units. I think that comes later. Okay. Boom. Research complete. Tick, tick. Boom. Tick, boom. Research tick, tick, boom. Can't do that. Tick, boom. Tick. Research complete. Boom. Why should I? Tick. I've got five Research seconds, complete. so I ain't got enough time. May as well just let it roll out. There's no way I can do that in like 60 seconds. Oh, does this skip me past the bus? Well, that'd be handy. I could have waited a bit longer then before doing all my income, but never mind. Here we are. This is probably the only reason why it has skipped me past the boss. I think I have to win this though to get skipped past the boss. So the only thing I think the Beast Builder is for is like the real end game, which is the Ancient Mother. And I'm hoping that's going to be so OP. Yes, like I'm really banking on that being mega OP. Research complete. Why should I direct my wrath? Oh my goodness. Where shall I it just keeps going, guys. Insufficient goal. Research complete. It must go up to 20 then. Why should I? Did we skip? No, we didn't. I think you have to win and then it will put you up to the next level. So you can theoretically get past really hard bosses if you actually beat another player in those like dual modes. Might be too late for a comeback. Probably. Probably doesn't help playing this race, though, does it? But some people might be responsible for that one. Cough, cough. Look, I even say, pick the demon one. And I say, Murloc is the loser point of view. So you knew what you was getting into when you did this. Apparently it goes up to... 21. I'll just start making a comeback when I've got like four or five lives left. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, Exarch. Like the bashy bash Murlocs and then attack speed is cool. I like the idea, the premise behind it. I'm still doing my income push because may as well double down at this point. In for a penny, in for a pound. This is my most successful run so far. Slap. Look at the gold, though. 
Look at the gold. Research complete. Where shall I strike our alliance? We're so close. I will honor. I might be tempted to get two more of those actually before I do the Murloc Revolution. Since I can only have three of them. And they have got bash. I think I'll just sell those. Yeah. Let's get rid of these now. They're trash. Oh, I don't do anything here. The rest can maybe stay. Max is out. Time to get some armor. You know, like armor, attack speed, damage, range, armor, melee, range, magic damage, magic resist. Sure, you know, there's all sorts of things you can spend your money on. There's no guarantee any of it's going to be the right answer. I actually can't move on to the next level. I need to win a duel. Everyone's got like twice the value I have. How can you have twice the value I have and have more income than me? Like, is this race that bad? Like, literally that trash. Yeah, you're killing stuff. I got stuck on this level, which is the worst level to get stuck on for when I'm trying to push income. I'm going to build another champion then. It's kind of a shame because the aura is not going to stack, but he is pretty awesome. Otherwise, because of the bash, high damage. Because, I mean, he looks awesome. You could get the guards and stuff like that, or those ones. I'm just worried that they're going to fall off a bit more later on. They won't fall off that much, though, because of the upgrade, I suppose. Just need to get 5,000 bash procs. Oh, maybe I did actually get some. You kind of need like mass magic damage versus this guy, don't you? Ranged magic damage, which is just something I don't have. That's how I see it. Moonlight shines upon the guilty and the innocent alike. Yes, service dweller. Yes, service dweller. We will find Hello, justice. Bob. Yeah, maybe do revolution then. Research complete. It is done. It's, oh, it's 270 gold. This is embarrassing. So what am I supposed to do with that? Garibaldi. Doesn't have an upgrade. All of that was for this. I thought it was supposed to be some big build-up. And now I've got to save 2,200 gold to actually get the only unit left that's actually going to be any good. <laughs> this is so bad! This is so bad! This, this is... What is this race? We should just ban this race in future. It's like impossible to win with this race. 
Alright, well the only thing I can do is just find range units that have magic damage so I can actually kill this guy. Pierce. Magic, so it had to be a shaman. He's got chaos, which is okay. Oh wait, that's the ancient. Get the Hydra. Yeah, okay. Give me 2,000 gold and I'll get behind her. The Murloc Revolution is dead. I don't think I can push income anymore. I've got it close enough anyway. So I've got to somehow get money for the Hydra. I think the Hydra is the only thing that can save me. But then again, I'm going to have to build things after the Hydra. So maybe I should be building those Shaman and then get the Hydra when I can eventually afford it. Otherwise I'm going to have to like lose every single life. Behemoth is really stupidly strong. I guess it depends what race you're playing, but this race doesn't have much in the way of magic range damage. I literally have one unit that can do range magic damage. That one's a healer, so it's trash. It's not a DPS. It is basically just the shaman. That does uh, chaos and chaos. So they only upgrade into chaos. So there's none that actually do like upgraded. And then I've got upgrade moon wells. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Try upgrades. So we want tankiness for my super tanky Naga units. And attack speed for bash procs. And then damage for those shaman. Research complete. Research complete. Research and we're saved. Research complete. Research we can't lose now. Research Winner's point of view. Oh, they're not melee, are they? Oh my god! Why are they melee? What? There's literally not one range unit that is... The only range unit is the healer. And the healer's busy healing, not doing damage. This, this race is designed to lose. This is like the loser's lottery in evolution. They're the dodos. What the heck? They're like designed to go extinct. Remember, did anyone ever watch that Simpsons episode with the firebug? It was like a little caterpillar, but it was like suicidal and all this. Like it was almost like designed just to destroy itself and not live. I guess we get to watch everyone else win then. <laughs> Maybe one day I can play this map and actually get far in it. But I won't let Twitch chat decide next time. This is what you get, Twitch chat. So At least I'm making gold. Those bash props there. That is pretty tasty. I'm going to keep going for the bash props. Surely the next level can't be harder than that one. Like, I should have a really easy time for, like, the next four levels minimum. So now should be the time to push income to maximum, which is already done. My work here is complete. Save for the Hydra. What's your problem? No more income. Well, it's max now anyway, so I can't even... There's literally only one more. That was it. You guys have no rights to complain. You're the ones that put me in this position.
Like, bear in mind, I'm at level 16. The rest are at level 20, 22. So 3,000 value plus the 1,000 there. And also that wood counts towards, like, the number here in a way. So that number's smaller, but that number's larger than those ones. So that's really more like 4,000 value if you took away the lumber. I should really be able to absolutely obliterate the next few levels. Just got to be quick, Orin. Getting a bit laggy now. Imagine this on Reforged. Oh, that's because of these dudes. I swear these guys cause lag. It's once you get to like those fire infernal golem type creatures. Twelve armor, forty-two percent damage reduction. Don't get the last hit on the mobs though, because everyone else has got them surrounded. Having mass range would probably be quite good, because you have more chance of killing and getting the last hit. There go, more gold. Vis a vis. Alright. I've got four more lives. My income is ridiculous. So I should easily be able to save for the Hydra now. And then I can just continue doing upgrades or something. Because I don't even think any of this stuff is particularly worth... Like, what's what's special about any of those? Unless one of them's got, like, bloodlust or something. And the Murlocs are trash. You literally just do the revolution just to get that Garibaldi character. These are trash. Why would you... I mean, maybe you want to get the healers. Like, I can get healers back or something, as long as I can upgrade them. So they don't get one shot by mobs, but... You got Rexar with one X. Hemet Nessin Wary. Damn, we're in trouble. He's got a big gun. I assume we're losing, I don't know. Draco's on my side, isn't he? Yeah. 1,000 gold. 1,187 to go. On the bright side, I'll never play Naga again. I don't like playing the race I've already played before in this game. I think this game is great. But I like to play different races each time. So I've already done the Rubians like multiple times. I've done the Defenders of Azeroth last time. We've done this now, so we we can't do this. This isn't even an option for you, ch you guys next time. Literally can't even have the option for this. It's gone. Yeah. Guess I can do the gold thing. It's not going to get me the Naga unit just yet, but... Told you I'm gonna obliterate these levels. I should do. Like they should be an absolute pushover. It's just the behold is such a sort of What's the term? It's like a, a blockade or you know, a choke point kind of thing. Like he pushes you back, but then the levels after him are really easy in comparison. Mouse power spike maybe. Yeah. He's holding me back. Gatekeeper. Bottleneck. Does Broxagar get stronger each level? Because that would be really cool. So the earlier you can get Broxagar, the better. 
Like almost like you just sacrifice lice and you race to get Broxiger. No? Okay. I just kind of felt like he did for some reason. You can upgrade individual units. Spare the pleasantries. How may I serve the goddess? Why have I served Oh, we can upgrade the blade master. Ah, oh, I thought it was a boss level for a moment there. I got worried. Give me the money. Hydra's coming. Storm's coming, Annie. You better get home quick. Do I have a siege? No. I don't. You thinking about the castle? Is it level 20? Kaboom! Dalissa. It's much later. Oh, okay. So here she is. She can't be upgraded. She's got attack and round, so I assume that's like splash damage. I might put her on flea, because she could have like ridiculously high health regeneration. When enemies attack, they suffer from a toxic and blood that causes 7% of cause damage. Doesn't sound very high. I can't lose now, it's impossible. Now that I've got that Hydra, that's right at the back. So she's not going to tank much. <laughs> I guess I'll just go for pure damage now and attack speed. Like, I'll continue doing attack speed. Because I've got, like, the strongest unit, plus Naga units, and the Revolutionary Mill. Like, there's nothing that's actually that special that I can build anymore with this race. So I'm just going to, like, max out the upgrades and I hope that that's going to carry me. Healers? Yeah. Let's invest in a healer or two then. Yeah, you can only have one Hydra. It's not available anymore. I'm putting all of these at the back. I'll put this with the... They're still going to charge past into melee. But maybe the uh, Hydra can do some tanking. So you can upgrade into a priest or a shaman. Evade, parasite, great and magic resist. So I don't see any bloodlust. Healing water, cold water. So I don't think I get anything that like boosts my units. Moonlight shines upon the guilty and the innocent alike. Max is definitely out now. I'm not sure if Siren has the bloodlust. This boss seems easier than the, uh... <laughs> I know I've got more units, but still. I wouldn't mind swapping this one with the behemoth. Hey, you guys need to keep doing... You guys need to do better than me. Keep doing better than me. I want to see this map beaten. Or at least get closer than we got last time. They need to stay alive. Let's 
640 gold. How much was the Blade Master upgrade? Oh, yeah, not much. Upgrade yeah, he is. Look, oh, my God, look at him. I lose the uh, snappy, happy Blade Master, but damn, look at this character. What the hell? What is this? Holy shite. That is, that's like better than some of the standard models for... That's better than a lot of the standard models for Warcraft 3. What on earth? That looks incredible. Holy mackerel. That's crazy how good that looks. I mean, the weapon might be a bit over the top, but still. Okay. So, priest. Water priest. He's got water heals up to 80 health for 5 units. Decrease unit with cold. So when he attacks, he's just decreasing their movement. But that's not much. I really don't think you can get much good out of this race. This is the problem I have with it, really. It's like, even if I didn't go heavy into the Nagas at the start and then do the Murloc Revolution, what would you do? Mass Lizards? Mass Lizards Shaman or something? Maybe them? They might be better. Just to sort of get a multitude of those instead. And then sort of get the strong units. All right, look at that, Delissa, she's moving in, taking the aggro, good girl. Get in there. Well, now she's being pushed back. Because he has a roar or something for some reason. She's still in the front, which is nice. She doesn't even have hero armor, though. She's got medium armor. Did you just devout? Oh, this is... This game is so rigged. Why can you... Like, we had this problem last time. You can devour the strongest unit. It should be resistant to devour. Mountain Giants have an upgrade that allows them to not be devoured by Kodos. Why does a 2,200 gold unit not have a resistance to being put inside of a creature's belly whilst the creature still gets to fight and provide buffs? Absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. I don't even know what to say. You can just get so easily hard countered in this. At least I don't think I'll lose a life for those duels. That would be pretty brutal. Oh, they're on the castle now. That's a bit of a power spike as well. I might have to get a bunch of sea turtles. Because he's got fortified armor. Because otherwise that level's going to kick my ass. So they're on level 25, so it's basically level 25 is the castle. I mean, the sea turtles are ranged, and they're fairly expensive, so they can't be that bad. Can't go wrong with haste upgrades, though, still, at the moment, because it benefits the units I have got, and then it also benefits the turtles when I get them. So I'll take it. And damage as well. Howl's moving castle. Subscribe. Twitch.tv slash witty. If you want to see more content like this, it helps me uh, keep going. Keep doing what it is that I do, which is play Warcraft 3 custom games on a regular basis. So it helps provide the YouTube channel as well with content. YouTube.com slash witty Warcraft for those that are watching say hi. You get to watch a castle fight and get absolutely a... Well, he wins, I guess.
Overclock down to six lives. 297 gold in the bank. Time to start working on some small turtles. Is that the ice cat known as Ice Jim? Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. What is Amazon Prime? Amazon Prime. Well, it's like Prime Gaming now, isn't it? It's changed name. What are you doing in my swamp? You can actually connect your Twitch Prime account to Twitch, or your Amazon Prime account to Twitch to subscribe. Free! 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 I get, a spoiler. I get treated very kindly by several people in particular. As you can see, Koyva with five gifted sub yikes. Thank you very much indeed. Just need more individual personal responsibility as well from other viewers. Because that also helps me keep going. Just in case, uh, you know, the gifted subs aren't necessarily there. But I do definitely appreciate that without a shadow of a doubt. Turtle. Upgraded turtle to rock turtle. Big siege damage. Nothing special about it otherwise. 600 range. I can't remember what keeps making that noise. I think it's the uh, castle, isn't it? I'm getting, look, Heggles down to four lives. See, this is the thing, right? Because we're actually on the same amount of lives. Because you get, like, uh, this is why it's really important to push the income as much as you can, even if it does cost you lives, because it's going to pay off more in the late game. I don't know how I'm going to do first as the castle there. I could still just easily die anyway, but if I actually get past the castle, then it's paid off to get that income early. Castle might be going down. These mammoths are so tank. 6,750 health. Thank you, Dragon Dennis. You think Naga's secretly the best race? Oh no, he's not going to lose, is he? Oh no! That turned right at the end. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Rami. Loses point of view. Next round in 12 seconds. Okay. This level should be an easy blast. I've got my turtles doing some DPS. They're quite... Where's this castle? So you've got 1,000 range there. I think the castle has a nuke ability sometimes when you fight him. So it really just comes down to whether he's got the nuke or not. If he has the nuke, I think you almost always lose. So it's a bit of an RNG fest. You guys need to win. I hope you do win, because uh, you're running out of lives. Need to get past that castle. Draco and Clucky are having a really good game. Okay, he's up and running. What's his range? He's got 800 range. So the turtles would need to have like 820 range or something to be outside of his... Uh, for him to just prioritize attacking the melee units. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to upgrade them for that, though. Like, if I do... It's plus 30 range. So, 10 upgrades would definitely sort that. But how much is that going to cost me? <laughs> don't, says Legolas. Don't, don't. Because this probably isn't worth it, no. I'm just theorycrafting. 
I got a lot of chaos. Uh, Convince me. Uh, I suppose. Do you think I should put some upgrades into melee damage now? Not go too heavy into the ranged. I don't know. Let's upgrade those turtles. Ah, bugger, bugger, bugger. Quick, quick, quick. Research complete. And then we'll do the upgrades into damage of both melee and ranged. Research complete. Tankiness as well. Sorry about the uh, frame rate. The game gets a bit more uh, complicated, or rather filled with more units in the late game, more spells, more abilities, stuff going on, so you... It sometimes uh, has moments where the FPS will drop. It's okay now, it just has moments where it drops heavily. I think Rami's got it this time. He looks like he's set up and in charge. He's not going to let the castle win this time. Overclock does not have much left at all. Oh dear. Overclock's hit a brick wall. We're having a hard time, aren't we, boys? Look at the damage now. I imagine they have max income at this point. No. See, that's part of the problem. Draco hasn't, so he didn't need to. So it's, it's not easy to say whether that's definitely the problem, since one of you's doing okay, the other one not so much. Right, next level is the one that kills me. Keep getting those upgrades then. Research complete. Finish up on those. Oh wait! Oh! If I win this, I get to skip. Who am I against? Clucky, throw the game, quick. He's got twice the value, but I need you to throw the game, Clucky. Why would you do this to me, Clucky? You could have. I could have literally skipped past the castle here. This isn't one that lets you skip. You think... Alright, no, yeah, I think you're right, actually, because I think we had a duel, didn't we? And I still had to fight the behemoth. Maybe it's just the special events. What a great game. See, I don't want to get too many turtles because they're not going to be that much use after this level 25. Whereas the upgrades will continue to be useful. So I think just get the upgrades. I'm worried they get one shot by something though. Research complete. Research complete. This is it. This is it. Oh man, my damage is pretty good. Oh, what? Please don't disconnect me. I almost need to not look at it. If he doesn't nuke, I'm going to be sad. I love this game, but damn. The FPS. Do not do a nuke. Do not do a nuke. Look at this. It's because of all those upgrades, I told you. See, there was a method in my madness of sacrificing the lives early on to push the income. One shot. 
Overclock's taking that down now. I'm going to keep going upgrades. I don't think there's any reason not to. That's ranged. That's my strongest unit, so I'll just keep doing the ranged ones. I might try to get some more casters next time. I've got the priest. What about another healer? See if I can upgrade that into the other one. Shaman. Gets the parasite, which is, you know, useful, but... I think at this stage of the game, Parasite's not going to be that useful because the mobs... Like, when you kill something that you've cast Parasite on, it spawns units. But those units are probably only going to have, like, 100 health. Yeah, if the map maker could make it so that this map, this game didn't lag in, like, the last 10 to 15 levels... That would be great. You need two to three players to not get that much lag. Yeah, maybe if you had like four players maximum. I think we're winning though. Yeah, Captain Grimm, this is the opposite of one of your videos. Everything is super slow instead of everyone Merlock going like that. Uh, I don't think the Murloc is OP, no. I think it's because of my very careful, coordinated decisions that allowed us to get to this stage. My accurate, wise choices. I'll get one of each of the shaman as well, see what it is they do. So you got the dark shaman, you got the fire shaman. Dark shaman is drain life, which theoretically is quite good because it can keep itself alive for a long time. Oh, I'm going to spend a bunch of upgrades. Because I've got so much money. It's a shame I can't get a second Hydra. Assassin Murloc. Like, some of my units are so cheap, it just doesn't feel like it's worth building now. Warcraft is a slow turn based game now. In this case, yeah. You have to use your audio senses to try to detect what is happening. You can't let them win. I've come so far. Draco seems pretty strong. Very strong. Research complete. Research complete. I've almost maxed on upgrades as well. So I've not skimmed out on upgrades. Must be Small wave, pretty trash. So the only interesting thing is life drain just to keep the dark shaman going. But the dark shaman doesn't provide anything otherwise. As far as I can see. Yeah, it's got chaos damage though. Oh yeah, it's melee though. So many melee units that you just don't think would be melee. I can't get any more champions. Those are Naga units. As soon as you do the Murloc revolution, you can't build Murloc uh, champion or Naga units anymore. I got two of them, but I couldn't get the third one before I did the revolution because I was dying at the time. I just have to kind of assume that I'm winning right now. <laughs> That's how I live my life. I just assume I'm winning. I, I'm actually scared to build more units because of how laggy this is getting. I'm just going to keep going up, bro. The finny thing, you got this like caster effectiveness, but. The Murloc casters are so bad, I don't even think I'm going to put any points into this. It doesn't... 
Like, I can't find a Murloc caster that I like. Like, what have we got? We've got a Footman. That's not going to go and grow up to be anything useful, is it? Hunter. At least it's probably ranged. But it's, it's they're so cheap. Like, even if you spent money on upgrading, they're probably only going to have, like, 800 health at most. Which really isn't very good for the late game. You should be very close to the end now, Draco. Healer is, like, the only one that's kind of useful. And as if it's, like, fully upgraded into the Priest. It's not that good, though. Oh, you're against Deathwing. People at the front page of Twitch are going to think that Twitch is lagging. They're, they're not lagging. Twitch isn't lagging. This is me. Or rather, it's the game. Twitch is fine. Hey, there we go. We've got control again now. Deathwing's going down. Maybe. It's up to the catapults. And Broxigar. Whoa. Broxigar is going to take down Deathwing. Okay. Broxigar wins. Twenty seconds until the next level. I can't really upgrade anything else that's useful, so I basically should just make units. Wait, does that not even upgrade? The Lizardman Cavalry doesn't even upgrade. There's no upgrade for that. What? What can I build? I, I think Shaman is the best thing I can build then. No, you're, you're missing the point. I can't make the Naga units. My Sirens have upgrades, but I can't make them because I did the revolution. I, I, have, I have two builders now, not three. Yeah, it does not seem at all worth it to do revolution. At all. I mean, maybe if the Murlocs had like three... And yes, free is in free special units. Like special hero units. It might be more worth it, but there's literally only one, and it costs 270 gold. That's about it. I'll try the Snapdragon, yeah, the Water Drake. See if it upgrades. Nope. So that doesn't upgrade. The lizard man doesn't upgrade. The turtle does upgrade, so it's like it's it's not too bad. The shaman. I think the shaman is my best bet, really. Your building is complete. Your building is complete. Your building is complete. Your building is complete. And then you just spend the like most gold you can. They uh, they get bash actually. Oh wow, I'm against Nefarian. I'll, I'll get a bunch of Murlocs to heal in a moment. I haven't checked the Murloc upgrades, so we can make them and then see what they're like. But I can't imagine that they're going to be great. Potentially Assassin? Maybe? Yeah, I need healers in this fight. Everything's almost dead. Maybe I can bash Nefarian to death. Did we get enough bash procs? See, this is where I need more expensive units. But Naga don't have that luxury. Everything is dirt cheap. But rubbish. Like, 
I need some like 4,000 health units. Because there, yeah, I'm a bit worried the healers are just going to die. I'll have to get so many of them. I think Dallas has got it. Yep. Boom. Somehow managed to hold. Let's get those healers in. We can't build. I don't think you can really tactically position anymore at this stage. There's just so much trash. Upgrade all of them into the more expensive one, which is the priest. Obviously get the food. Let's just do that. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, get some assassins down. Clucky. Why doesn't it put me against anyone that I can actually beat? I don't think I've won a single duel. <laughs> Am I winning? Clucky's so strong he's starting to fight against himself. Because he's getting bored fighting me. Can see invisible units, sure. I can upgrade these into gorillas. Oh, they can upgrade again. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. Hero armor. That's a bit more useful. So we can get 1300 health and hero armor. That's about as far as it goes. Might be the best thing. Oh, look at the health. 400 health. And that's as far as they upgrade. My healers. So I don't think they're going to be much use. They're just going to get one shot. Maybe if I make them massively ranged. It might be worth upgrading range. I don't know. I'll do it only a bit. Just so my range units don't get easily killed. So yeah, this is a good time whilst the slideshow is kicking off to say thank you if you are watching at this point. My name is Witty. I do stream every day. Twitch.tv slash Witty. W-T-I-I. Playing Warcraft 3 as you can see. Doing uh, custom games mostly. Sometimes melee. But custom games involving defenses like this. Auto battlers. Custom tower defenses. Hero survivals. Hero defenses. RPGs. That kind of stuff. So there's, there's quite a variety of Warcraft free custom games. So if you're ever interested in, interested in that, then pop over to twitch.tv slash witty and say hi. Also, I stream and upload daily at youtube.com slash witty warcraft. I'm actually uploading like two videos a day sometimes. So there's plenty of content that you can actually check out if you are interested in Warcraft free. Yes. Uh... I mean, maybe more ass assins. And then back to the shaman for the bash Upgrade procs finish. and their chaos damage. I mean, they've also got the life drain, which gives them more survivability. Spend the mana for money. Yeah, okay. Uh, not much time to do it, though, but give me a moment. Shaman... We can't build it. Your building is complete. Your building is complete. Yeah, I mean, people are just watch the videos and make sure the thumbs up and you know, do all that kind of stuff. That always helps out. It keeps me going. There's also patreon.com slash witty walker, which is a website where you can donate a small pledge amount of money that also helps to keep me going on a monthly basis i'm going to be working on the, the ultimate warcraft free quiz two very shortly i've really worked a lot on it it's taken far more time than i care to admit but it's in a position where i can maybe do it 
more regularly. So I'm planning on doing one in probably next week, if I can. Be kind of awesome to have some people play that. Might try to get Asmongold to play that. That would be awesome. Because I know he likes Warcraft 3. So I could see if he can actually complete a quiz on Warcraft 3. I like doing content like that. It's a bit more fun. Sort of creative content, but it takes a long time to create. But it's very rewarding. Rami's still alive on one life. At least as far as I can tell. Technically, I'm in joint third place at this point. Although, Hegel's actually two levels above me, so... He's... I would say he's third place. If Draco or Clucky were, like, first or second. It's so laggy, I can't actually control yet. They must be fighting something big. Are you fighting, uh... yogg -Saron? Yes, you are. I do also play some World of Warcraft at the moment. I normally do that at the start of my stream for a couple of hours. Been leveling up multiple characters, getting a feel for them. Warrior, I really, really like. Rogue is very good. And I'm also looking into Monk. I think yogg going to win versus Draco. I don't think we're going to make it to the last boss. We're just going to have to get better at this map, aren't we? If we're going to make it to the final boss. I think this is an improvement on last time, though. Although we did have more lives this time around. This one crossbow, man. <laughs> He's like trying to flee. I've actually, I'm, I'm, I'm like running out of space here, guys. Create more moonlight. Research complete. Your building is 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 complete. Upgrade finish. Upgrade finish. We can't build. It. Hey, Murloc Ritual. Yeah. Um, can you even do that anymore? No, you can't. You need the Nagi unit to do that. Ah. Hello there, Fessor Matt. He says, hi, kind sir. May I know what map is this lovely looking survival hero? This is called Holy War. You can find it at hiveworkshop.com. So Google Holy War hiveworkshop.com and it should pull this up. It's the anniversary edition. You can see at the top right it says Holy War Anniversary. So it's basically an updated version of the uh, Holy War map. Which, believe it or not, is actually less laggy than the previous version. Yeah. You got him. Hegel's up to it now. Yeah, they are team killing, aren't they? Maybe you can avoid the team kill, though, because you've got the ability with your worker to um, control a unit. So you could maybe possess the units that are team killing, but if it's only a small unit, it's not worth it, is it, really?
I'm still killing um, Yogg-Saron in World of Warcraft at the moment, trying to get the mount. Yeah, yeah, you're going to need lots and lots of chaos damage. I may as well sell my turtles, I think. Because I think only units that do chaos damage are going to be useful now. I mean, the turtles can do something versus this, but... Weak units get controlled by that boss. Better to sell them than keep them. Eh, what have you built? A bunch of deliberately super weak units. No, they just die straight away. Rexar, the hero. The horde never deserved. Okay, I'm going to sell. And I'm going to build even more shaman. Because I genuinely don't feel like there's really much that's actually better. I wish I could build quicker. <laughs> I cannot build any faster than this. There we go. We're ready. Storm, Earth, and Fire. Here come the Crawler Elites. Wait, are you on to the big boss now? Alright, here we go. So, this is the final boss that Clucky's fighting against. I think it's Sargeras. So we actually got to see Sargeras. Whether we actually get to kill him, I'm not sure. He looks pretty angry. So the idea really is everyone needs to sort of be close to each other in level so they can all reach Sargeras. Because otherwise Clucky's going to lose a bunch of lives fighting Sargeras on his own. Yeah, I can't do anything about the frame rate, I'm sorry. I'm trying... Oh yeah, look. Clucky got killed already. So the rest of us need to catch up. Otherwise he, he's just going to get wiped out. I think I've probably got like 0 0.05 frame rate. I'll try to show you some of the Yogg Saron fight. It looks like Yogg-Saron's going down here. Yeah, you can redeem lag at twitch.tv slash bitter. Yep, Yogg-Saron's definitely going down there. I think Draco should definitely get it. He's got a lot of Gryphon Riders. They do hero damage. It's only gonna. This bear ride is trying his hardest. I think Draco's running out of stuff that can actually kill this. You're chipping away at it. I got 2,000 gold! Like, this is ridiculous! So I'm going to have to build, like, another 15, like, 12 Dark Shaman. Oh, there's the food cap. I, I'm really worried that I'm going to... Is there actually a proper food... There is! There's an actual food cap! I'm not even going to be able to spend all my money, eventually. I'm literally going to get stuck on the food cat. And I can't build anything, like, expensive. Oh, it's my turn versus Yogg-Saron. Let's give this a go. I'll just put a couple of points into that. It's got trash or whatever.
At least I know the majority of my units do chaos damage. I'm, I think the Murlocs do hero damage or pierce damage. Those assassins. Looks like we're moving past the tentacles onto the boss. See if I can hover my cursor on the minimap to better position and show the boss's health. Slowly but surely, you can see the night elf finger working its way down ever so gently. Bit higher. There we go. The bad news is, is the boss's health looks quite high. And it doesn't look like I got many units. This would be amazing if I one shot this. <laughs> I think, to be fair, I'm quite happy that I've managed to survive this long, considering how rough this game has been. Um, he's killed. He's kind of like killed all my shaman. How much health do those shaman have? Like, this is why you need like three thousand health units and stuff like that. Four thousand health units. healers doing anything? I'd like to think they are, but I don't think they are. You know? My watchers are ready. Oh. May as well upgrade her. Upgrade finish. We still got it. I don't think she's going to be any use though. Champion guards. Hey Manny, thank you for the sub. Uh... I, I mean, what have I got that can be sold? Not much other than resistance leaders, normal damage. He'll be okay versus the, mer the tentacles, though. Maybe I do have to sell everything that isn't chaos, though. Let's see what the hunter gets. There's no way the hunter's going to have much health, though. Yeah, the hunter's trash. Look at that. Create more moon wells problem now. Like, I'm literally capped. I can sell some Murloc healers, but otherwise the majority of my units are like chaos damage now. That's it. The fast majority. That's the best chaos units I can get, is these ones. Wasn't the other lizard type upgraded into range. This one does not upgrade. He's just the base unit, and it's free food. The Snapdragon does not upgrade, and it's free food. The Turtle does upgrade, but it's siege damage, and it's free food. So the Dark Shaman is by far the best. Maybe the Turtle's too food, though. There is no range chaos attack. I don't have it. The Fire Shaman. Oh yeah, okay, we can try some Fire Shaman. They don't cost so much though, but we can certainly try it. I see what you mean. There's not really much to do in the way of upgrades. It's cast a regeneration, which really isn't that useful. And a little bit more range. Oh, hang on, you got Sargeras to half health. Holy. I might be able to stay alive long enough for you guys to kill him. Yikes. 
Clucky still has tons of like piercing damage units and siege. Is this one of those fake divine armors? Where it's not actually that it still takes a fairly decent chunk of damage from others. Remy's behind on the level. Okay, so let's get rid of these. I don't know, not no, nah, not necessarily. They're quite they still serve a purpose. I think it's the healers that are completely useless. Those are the uh, fire shaman that you guys like with their 450 range, which is actually upgraded. It's even shorter range than that. Water Drake is basically useless. Resistance leader, dark shaman. Guard is okay. Garibaldi is the only useful murloc and it's trash. He does have an aura though, so I should almost... It's a shame he's not ranged or something, I can keep him back. We've got 20 seconds, so I don't really have much time, so I'm just going to have to spam the Dark Shaman again. I don't have enough time to build in between levels, it just gives me a huge chunk of cash. It's 16 gold to upgrade these, so... I need to build, like, 20 plus. Oh, no. There you go. I may as well, yeah, off you go then. I'll just max the upgrades, there's nothing else I can do. 175 out of 175 food. The max food isn't really so much of a problem if you actually have some expensively decent units you can build. Wait, is Sagarius dead? Let me just spend 15 seconds working out whether that's true. There's a lot of people fighting It's so hard to hover over it. I think the problem is, is you might lose your lives by the time I get there. I'm not. I still can't even get past Yogg-Saron. All of my Dark Shaman, etc. My only units that can do chaos damage that aren't Nagas are dead. I, I don't even think Murloc can actually get past this level because I've got like everything maxed. That's what I said. I think the chaos might be a bit of a lie. Because I've seen this before where things state that they only take damage from chaos, but it's, they'll still take like 30% damage from siege and pierce, etc. I didn't come last. Hegel's down. In fact, I could, I could come first here. I won't. Overclocked and Cluppy still have two lives. Or maybe one life at the moment. He's running away. <laughs> Were you controlling him? Yeah, you could use your build builder spells. Okay, here we go again. I'm just gonna get those turtles then maybe. I oh, know, what can I build? I'm capped. I c I I can't even build anything. I'd put the Nagas in the front if I could, but everything's so clunky.
The assassins aren't even bad units, though. Wait, they might even be good units. Depends on how much food they take. They're one food. And they can be upgraded to have, like, 1,300 health. With hero damage, or hero armor. Yeah. Give me a moment. I'll summon as many wrists as I can. Wait for it. Summon the rift. You can't... You must cast rift near your own units. Okay. There you go. There's a rift. There's a rift. Let's get him, boys. Let's take him down. I'm going to control my... Well, I won't be able to control it. Not with that lag. Keep trying to get upgrades, not that I think they do much. Oh. Shall. That calls for help. I thought that was going to boost them. Oh well. There's Sargeras up here. Doesn't look like things are going well versus him. In fact, that looks like one of his hardest mechanics. Summon a bunch of dark portals. I'll do a shout over here. Yeah, that's right. Shout. Show what it's all about. I've got Yogg-Sar on to 40% health. We can do this. If only I had one more life, I could actually technically be the last survivor here. If I beat Yogg-Sar on, I will be, maybe. Or I'll be joint last for the next round. I don't think I'm going to beat Yogg-Sar on then. I'm just purely focusing Yogg-Sar on at this point. I think it's pointless going for those tentacles now. I don't think I'm going to win. This Hydra doesn't even have good health regeneration. Like, it has no health regeneration. Uh-oh. They're coming for me. Save me. I'm kiting. There's more tentacles. Get him, boys. I don't think I can micro my way out of this one. The end is nigh. The tentacles have become too much. They've overwhelmed me. Okay, well it's up to two players then to take down Sargeras. The last round indeed. It's the trolls, and it's the dwarves, I think. No, high elves, actually. Dwarves and high elves. No, trolls and high elves. There we go. Which is actually an unlikely uh, combination, when you think about it lore-wise. But maybe Sargaris is that much of a badass that he'll make sworn enemies group together. It seems like you can get his first 50% of health down pretty quickly. It's just after that it gets a bit trickier. Fifty percent health now at this stage. But some big burst damage is kicking in. Massive AoE. Cheeky Sargaris respawning. Is he casting blight under himself? What if he heals on that? 
Oh, that's massive damage. Oh, boy. 9,500 health on those Mammoth Riders. Sargaris does not lose this time. But we got far. Further than we've ever got. Aisha is a bit of a badass, isn't she? GG. Clucky's won the game. The last survivor. But no one could defeat Sargeras. Thank you all very much for watching. This is Witty. Make sure to thumbs up, subscribe if you're watching at youtube.com slash Witty Warcraft. Daily Warcraft free videos uploaded to the channel. And if you're watching at twitch.tv slash Witty. Thanks. And that's it. Patreon.com slash Witty Warcraft to help out as well. Two hours on this video. Yikes. Holy War Anniversary. Hope, hopefully you enjoyed it. So thank you once again. All the best. Take care.